Hi everyone, my name is Lawrence Steele and I'm a geologist based on the Maptic Adelaide office. Today I'm going to revisit the process of being able to import georeference images into Vulkan. To start off, users can go to the model menu and select image registration and import georeference image. As you can see, there's a number of options here. I'm going to select the ECW option first and select browse and then select a gravity example. I'll select open and then what I can do here is just type in the name for it and same for the triangulation and select OK. It'll just ask you if you want it in meters and you select OK. Now if I just refresh the page, you'll see that that's what the image looks like there. What I'll do is I'll just uh, right click again and select the uh, function again, but this time I'll import uh, the actual magnetics and select open and just change this, uh, change the name for the iRig name and the triangulation name. And select OK, again select meters and OK. Now what you'll see is inside the triangulations file, the actual 00t file, and the associated image will be under the registered images file. What I can do here is I'll just re remove the uh, magnetics and then what I'll do is just uh, make this uh, image here translucent and right click on here. And what I can do is actually just move that up and down. And what I, what I can then go ahead and do is actually load up the magnetics. If I zoom in here, you can actually see that transition working quite nicely. In addition to that, I'll just remove those. What I can also do is uh, go back to the image registration tool, import georeference image, and this time what I can do is import WMS files. In order to do that, you need to set it up first. As you can see here, I've got a number of examples. In this case, uh, a couple of server URLs. And once you've typed them in, and copy the URL and paste it into that field, select OK, and simply select the one you want and select Connect. Give it a second and you're good to go. From here, what I'm gonna do is just select a total magnetic intensity as an example, and type in TMI here, and then also fill the IREG file and the triangulation file. And what I'll do is select OK. And that will just pull the image straight from the internet um, onto your computer. If I refresh that again, there's the image there. Now, some of the advantages of being able to import these images is being able to overlay the data on the same, for example, with uh, brown fields, draw hole databases, as well as uh, surfaces and downhill, LAS, and teleview data. WMS files, users also have access to a wide range of open source data. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your local Mattech office. Thank you for watching.